serious have you asked your girlfriend's father for his blessing to marry his daughter, and he said no what happened, after he said no. Funny story time, I married a Czech and her father didn't speak English, so I memorized how to ask for her hand in marriage, and called him internationally. He gets on the phone, I say my thing, and I hear the dreaded no, apostrophe, I'm stunned. My fiance mouths what? And I said he said no. She starts to reach for the phone, but then I hear in the background on the other end her sister yelling something, then I hear him say a no, a no, apostrophe, in check. Yes is a no, but in normal conversation, it gets shortened to no all the time, which is similar to yeah. We were young, I was about to move 1000 plus miles away without a firm job prospect. I asked her parents for both permission and blessing over a seriously nice steak dinner. They politely said no, I asked why. They, again politely, expressed concern over our ages, vocations, and potential separation anxiety fueled puppy love marriage dreams, and their desire to make sure their daughter didn't wind up destitute with a deadbeat bum. Since we all had my then girlfriend's best interests at heart, I had no trouble genuinely thanking them, though I was sad. I followed up by telling them we'd wait and prove our commitment and capabilities. Waited and distance dated for a year, asked again over incredibly cheap slash nasty green burrito slash del taco, got both permission and blessing, married a year later, just celebrated 15 years of marriage and 3 kids. And that was one of several interactions which contributed to the great relationship we all have with each other individually and corporately. Which means there wasn't a shred of angst slash nastiness over Christmas, when we had her entire family, parents, siblings, nieces, nephews, over. I got my shit together. He had said figure out the answer to his questions, and ask again in 6 months. I didn't have to ask again. I went out, got my college financials sorted out, signed up for more classes, found a job, and a month later bought a brand new Civic. He was incredibly impressed with and proud of me for how quickly I stopped being a dumbass. My wife was Pentecostal and her father was the pastor of her church and had promised her to the son of one of the more prominent members of the church when she finished her associate's degree. He never recognized our relationship and during HS watched over us like a hawk. When we graduated she moved out to attend school and I got a decent paying job. Her family was old school, so I had to ask. She had said she was marrying me either way, but wanted me to respect her father by asking. When I asked him he said, and this is about as close as I can remember there is no way I will ever let you marry my daughter, you and your family are the scum of the earth and I don't want that around her. She is already married to man she was promised to in my eyes. I just said oh well, gf said she was marrying me anyway, I was only asking out of respect for your customs. I love your daughter more than any other man, excluding you. I will provide for her, care for her, always be by her side and I will never let her down. Isn't that what you really want for her? I guarantee you the man you want her to marry won't be able to do any of those things I walked out, and a week or so later, he called me, and told me I had his blessing. We've had a solid relationship since. Never ask permission. Ask for their blessing to marry. My father-in-law was a very devout church goer that wants respect for his blue collar life slash upbringing. I told him I wanted his blessing, and that I loved his daughter, and was not asking for his permission. He respected my words, and invited me into the family first with a handshake then started crying and hugged me. He is a very good man, and we talked about his shortcomings and my plan, to support the both of us. Well, I asked and he originally said yes then changed his mind 6 months later, because we are not getting married in a church, and are not religious. He found out I'm atheist and now will not walk her down the aisle. I told him, if he wouldn't walk her down the aisle he was not invited to the wedding, and that I only asked his permission out of respect. I also said he needs to make a choice, whether he wants to be included in our family or not, we are going to be a family with or without you. I married her anyway, and the bouncers at my wedding had instructions to remove him rather aggressively should he try to cause a scene. My beloved's father hadn't been a part of her life for some time. He was an unemployed bum, living off of his elderly parents in his late 50s. He wouldn't hold down a job, he wouldn't pay his bills, he didn't have a permanent address. Bouncing around between relatives, 
His explanation for his lifestyle was God will provide. I met the man once before the wedding, when he came to a Thanksgiving dinner, and bitched about the quality of the free food he was eating. He wasn't invited to the wedding, but he showed up anyways. He showed up 15 minutes before the ceremony. Seriously, 15 minutes, wanting to walk his daughter down the aisle. The fiancé panicked, but is willing to let him, if only to keep the peace. Then right as everyone is gathering for the ceremony he pulls me off to the side. He is absolutely livid that the didn't ask his permission to marry his daughter. So I break down and ask him, explaining how much I love his daughter, how she is the only thing that makes life worth living, how I want nothing more than to grow old and die with her, how she is the missing part of my soul, and may I please have his blessing to marry him daughter. The fucker says no. Not just no, but he's going to disrupt the ceremony. He doesn't want his Christian daughter to marry a pagan bastard. Pagan bastard, his words. I'm about to murder my soon-to-be wife's father. I'm seriously considering shooting this fucker in the face in full view of the wedding party. God bless my groomsmen. One was a local police officer, another was a security contractor, think Blackwater, one was a 20-year veteran of ICE, one was a leader in the local satanic temple, and looked the part, and the last was an individual who was around 6 feet 4 inches tall and 340 pounds of pure malevolent mass. They pulled him away from me, and had a quiet conversation. I don't know what was said. I just know that the wedding went off without a hitch, and I only had to deal with him one more time before he died. Her dad and I used to go and walk the dog together, in order to get to know each other better. He is a pretty good guy, and had lots of good advice. Over time I made up my mind to marry his daughter, but was going to ask him first. Being slightly intimidated, even though he is as tall as me, he is a pretty big guy. Okay, who am I kidding? He cold been a majid and I would have been intimidated. On one of those walks, I finally popped the question, and it went something like this. Me, sir, what would you say if I asked for your daughter's hand in marriage? Him, I would have to say no. Me, um no. Him, yeah, what kind of a sick bastard are you? Me confused and really intimidated now, sick bastard? Him, really angry voice, yeah, why would you just want her hand in marriage? You expect me to just cut it off? This is a whole package deal. You either take all or nothing. Then he started laughing. My wife and I are married almost 20 years now and have two awesome kids. Guess it worked out. Sort of. My girlfriend's mom has a strange habit of shoving conversations in the deep end of the pool, then trying to make everything uncomfortable for everyone swimming slash discussing there. One night I had been invited to dinner at their family home and I was being interrogated slash conversing about my life plans and methods for getting there. Somewhere around graduate from college the mom brought up the topic of children, then switched it to marriage, then started asking questions about the wedding that we hadn't planned or agreed to have. Her father said something to the effect of nothing's going to happen without my say so anyways. I calmly and politely informed the table that my plan had always been to get married after college if I was with the right woman that my plan had not changed, and that her opinion was the only one important to that decision. I further stated that I didn't believe in the father paying for everything, and that weddings should be cozy gatherings that the new couple can pay for, and my reasoning should be sufficient for any reasonable adult to accept. I was then called an arrogant bastard, and given a beer and a third steak. We are still not married, but at this point we are just waiting until we can take a honeymoon. Our work schedules don't really allow for such right now. And the wedding will be cheap. I'm paying to have a friend ordained and licensed. The venue will be the family cottage. The food will be from the family catering business. And few of them drink. Three bottles of good liquor should cover the bar. And a few beers. My father-in-law said yes. Kinda. He is an alcoholic. And the time I was about to ask he came up from the basement a bit more drunk than usual, points at me, and motions for me to follow. Little did I know my mother-in-law, and, now wife, thought he was off the deep end, and they thought he was going to hurt slash kill me. Me being nervous about asking, I did not notice. They both casually walked downstairs to make sure I wasn't dead. Mostly he wanted to lecture me, and show his concern for his daughter. I specifically did not ask my wife's parents for permission. My now wife was studying abroad in England, and I was planning to go visit her over Thanksgiving. 
So I took her parents out to lunch, and I said, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I'm going to visit your daughter for a week in November, and I intend to ask her to marry her while I'm there. I wanted to let you know, and to ask for your blessing. Her mom said, what if we say no? And I replied, I'm not asking your permission. We are both adults and capable of making this decision on our own, but I know it would be a huge relief to both of us if we knew you were on board. Her mom just said, I'm not comfortable with this, and got up and went to the bathroom. At which point her dad said, I don't have any problems with it. It took several months for her mom to come around, but she's made her peace with it now, and my wife and I have been married for three and a half years now, and have a good relationship with both sets of parents. Long story short, most of her family are Jamaican immigrants, and wanted her to marry a Jamaican, specifically one who is a Protestant like they are. I'm a Caucasian without religion, so after being together for 5 amazing years I asked her father for his blessing to marry her. He laughed like I was telling a joke, then when he realized I was serious, he said that, if we got married, or pregnant they would disown her, and shun her from the family. I hated that they put her in that position, but they did, and they followed through with it. Eventually they put her on the spot, and made her choose. She picked her family. I was 19, and asked my now father-in-law for his blessing. He and his wife looked at each other and said, well, I don't know. Something clicked in my head. I'm a Lutheran. They are a pretty devout Catholic family. Catholic enough that they won't go to a wedding in a church other than a Catholic church. So I then mentioned that I was thinking about taking classes to become Catholic. They then said, I suppose then. I've been married for over 11 years now. I have a really good relationship with them. Still haven't taken any classes though. Don't plan on doing them anytime soon either. I do attend Catholic Mass with my wife though. I'm Caucasian, my, now, wife is Chinese, raised in Canada by very traditional parents. I was in law school, working hard but in debt. My wife had graduated from our school and was 3000 miles away to start her career. Her parents were visiting her in Toronto, and, given that I had plans in motion, I asked to speak to them on the phone, and asked her father for permission to marry their daughter. They said no. I honestly hadn't prepared for that, so I guess the most honest reaction was my natural reaction. I told them that I was mostly asking out of courtesy and would likely do so anyway, and had them pass the phone back to her. I told her what just went down, as a warning, and hung up. Apparently a huge argument between them and her erupted. Among the issues, I wasn't Chinese, and didn't share their culture, guilty. But I'm pretty open minded, I live so far away, we fixed that soon enough, they didn't speak my language well nor I thits, I have learned a lot of Chinese since then, and their English was not that bad, I didn't have a serious job, because I was in school, now I do alright. I was in loads of debt, well, yeah, student debt. And, most importantly, they were under the impression that we would get married right away, when, like rational people, we planned on doing so, once our lives were more in order. Overall, a rough day for a long distance relationship. Well, like the parenthesis above suggest, we got engaged anyway, and two years later got married and all has been well in the ten years since. Her parents are lovely people who wanted the best for their only daughter and couldn't see past the immediate situation into our well-planned future and they were scared about an outsider being brought into the family. I'm sure they imagined their daughter marrying a nice Chinese boy and I couldn't fit that bill. I'm happy to say that I have gotten to know them very well and we get along great. They call me son, are proud of us and our accomplishments and are overall awesome in-laws. It helped that, when her mom went back home, and told her co-workers what had happened, they were like oh, he asked you? That's so sweet of him, he didn't have to do that. Thanks, random ex coworkers I think it woke them up to the fact, that their western raised adult daughter could make decisions on her own. Side funny note, one concern they had, which they didn't raise at the time, was this. They thought white guys didn't take marriage seriously, because their only insight into western culture was Hollywood movies, TV shows, gossip magazines and stuff, where the couples are either foolishly romantic, jumping in bed on a whim, or falling apart, etc. I have certainly assured them, since that I'm no George Clooney, and, look, even he has settled down. 
my girlfriend, wife now, and I had been dating for over a year and a half. We were both working and going to school. We knew early on we were going to marry each other. Her family absolutely loved me, father included. One day after helping her father with an errand I told him I needed to talk to him for a minute. I told him how much I loved his daughter and asked if I could marry her. He looks at me and says, I had a feeling this was coming, and I think you should wait until you are both done with school. So, no. I'm standing there thinking I'm running through a formality and get totally shot down. All I can think is, shit, I just bought a $4,500 ring. She knows I bought it, she is expecting me to propose, and us finishing school is 2 years away. So I just start rambling about god knows what. I love her, I'll support her, we have both feel ready, pretty much anything to sway her dad. Finally he tells me he wants me to write him a letter about how and what exactly I plan to do to support his daughter in a way he would approve. Talk about the most stressed I have ever felt about writing a paper. Well, I gave him that letter just over 13 years ago. My wife and I were married 6 months later. We have a great life, 4 wonderful children, and we'll celebrate our 13th anniversary this next May. At the time it was horrific, but now we look back and laugh. I actually feel like the song Rude by Magic was written for me. I asked her dad while we were at his cottage fishing. He gave me a stone cold stare, then said are you fucking crazy? You two are perfect for each other, why would you want to ruin that with marriage? I now have an awesome father-in-law, who I regularly go fishing with.